everybody, it's Teresa. Hope you're doing well today. Welcome back to my channel. Well, today I, I found this pork on sale. As you can see, uh, I'm not very good at holding it up to the camera, but I am learning. But I got, I like the, the uh, whitish pork a little bit better. This is a mixture. These are called pork boneless loin country style ribs. And uh, I'm gonna, I don't have a, I usually buy marinades to put on top of it, but I don't have one. So I'm just gonna make up a small one and season these. And I think I'm just gonna throw them in the Instant Pot. And I thought, well, just why not just bring you guys along and uh, we can do the recipe uh, together. A few seasonings here. I hope you can see this. I have just have this little container and I put two tablespoons of brown sugar, but I did not pack them. And I just ground some fresh ground pepper in there. And I'm just gonna take, uh, teaspoon of salt. Well, maybe a little bit more than than that. I'm gonna do uh, garlic powder. A good teaspoon of that. Let's see, a little onion powder. And I'm gonna also I had to grab these little ones because these this is uh, smoked paprika. If you can see that. I love this stuff. Let's see, that's half of a teaspoon. Just kind of estimate. And then this is a uh, chili powder. And I don't want a really strong, strong chili taste. So I'm just gonna use the half a teaspoon. And the same goes with the cumin, just a little bit. And uh, let's see what we have here. I'm gonna have extra. And I think I'm gonna add just a dash of my, my uh, Tony Sacheries, because it's got that little bit of red pepper in there. It's always good on meat, especially chicken and pork. I like it on uh, chicken and pork the best. I like uh, salt and pepper on beef the most. So let's smell it and see how that Smells good. That cumin's really strong. I might should have put a little bit less, but smells good. So I think I'm gonna just go with that. Let me clean up my mess and then we'll season the meat. Seasoning on them. I added just another tablespoon of brown sugar because I like it. Uh, I like that molasses -y flavor. I'm just gonna sprinkle the seasoning on top of here. Sometimes I put olive oil on on the meat first. And I covered my pan so I wouldn't make a huge mess. You want to press it into the meat too. You don't want to put too much, but you want it to be enough too. Let me get the tongs. Just kind of press it in there. I should put some olive oil. It's not a lot of meat. I didn't want to make a huge amount today. I should have cut that white skin off, but I didn't. Whoops. Just sprinkle a little bit more. And I think before, this is going to take no time in the Instant Pot, but I want to have dinner ready early today because I think I'm going to go ahead and make some uh, little homemade like little slider buns. I'm not sure if I'm going to video that. Too. I have another, a good recipe for uh, buttermilk buttermilk hamburger buns, too, on my channel. Those, those are really good. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of rub that in there. And then we're going to plug that Instant Pot on and uh, give these a little collar. So let me situate my you again. Instant Pot heated up with some olive oil in it. And... Uh, See how hot it is. I think I'll be able to fit all these in there. I just want to get a little bit of brown on them, not much. Wasted a lot of seasoning on that paper, but you can't use it again. Again. See that fits just right. Okay, 
And I'm also going to have these left over from yesterday. Actually, the day before that. It's just a little bit of bell pepper and onion. And I'm all going to add some uh, fresh, my fresh core, like I like to keep in the refrigerator. And uh, I think I uh, some barbecue sauce. Today, I'm going to be using uh, hickory brown sugar. My daughter loves barbecue pulled pork. And uh, a little tiny bit of chicken stock. Sorry I keep saying, and uh, I don't know what's wrong with me today, but let me get a little color on these, and then we'll follow the, the move forward. I have to mention I have these on the, the high setting, so I think I better flip them. I really didn't even know if this was enough meat to even do a, a video on, really. That's looking good. Yeah, I think that sugar is really browning at the bottom of the uh, pot. You don't want it to burn. So that looks pretty good. And I'm going to, I've added a little bit more red onion because I, I, I like a lot. So I'm just going to dump that in there. Might be too many, but that's okay. Red onion, I find they're a little sweet. Okay. Now we just need a little bit of garlic. about two teaspoons. Let me get the chicken stock. I don't want to have too much liquid. This is where I always question myself because you have to have so much liquid for the instant pot. Brown these a little bit more. See that onion gets the stuff off the bottom immediately almost. It's going to be quite oniony, but they're going to cook to nothing once the Instant Pot works on them. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and just, I'm going to measure this today. I'm going to use my little measuring cup because I don't want to put too much. I think I'm going to go with uh, half a cup. Yeah, that looks good. And I'm pouring about um, well, maybe I shouldn't have tried to measure this one. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think that was too smart of me. And you can always add more barbecue sauce if you want. So I think I'm going to save some to the side in case I want to thicken this at the end. So stir that around. Yeah, well that's, I'm definitely going to have to put more barbecue sauce in it. But I think I'm going to wait until the end to do that. Alright, so let's turn it off of a uh, saute. And let me find my lid. Put it on sealing. And I'm going to press the uh, meat button. And I'm going to... I think I'm going to cook this for 14 minutes. That should be plenty of time. And I'll Okay, I'll open the Instant Pot and the meat is tender. I actually let it, I, I'm letting it, I am simmering it to reduce it a little because I it was a little bit more liquid than I wanted. But I'm breaking up the meat so that way this sauce is delicious. It's just perfect. The little bit of chicken stock, the seasoning, and the barbecue sauce. And it's, I'm breaking up the meat so it soaks it all in and it's already reducing. I've been reducing in about 10 minutes. 
so, and I'm baking some buns. I didn't video that, but I'll, I'll video them one day. I'm still practicing my buns. But I'll be back when I serve it up and show you what it looks show like. You what it looks like. I, I like mine a little bit juicy. And it's I don't want to burn it, so it's starting to stick. But that's just the right amount of liquid versus meat for us. And my daughter might want to add more barbecue sauce on hers. But this sauce is just so good. I really like the seasoning mix that uh, I made up today. So I'm just going to let this sit and wait, wait until supper time and then we'll serve it. See you in a few, couple hours. And here's the end product. I, I made these buns, I uh, made this macaroni and cheese, it's just a stovetop macaroni and cheese, and I made this coleslaw and I actually grew this cabbage. Now, to see if I can take a bite of this sandwich, it might be hard. The pork is a little juicy. Um, it's going to be hard, so forgive my mess. Mm. Sorry, I, I just take a big bite to get everything in. That is so good and so simple. And I paid four dollars and fifty cents for that little pack of pork. And uh, the instant pot I cooked it for fourteen minutes. It's just delicious. And my husband actually made the coleslaw. It's so good. But the macaroni and cheese I'll do it on, on, on another day, and also the buns. But I want to thank you for watching. I hope you try this recipe and, and um, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you like this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.